Are you doing these things just for show or it's a genuine thing that you're doing? No, it's genuinely. We don't, we don't do this thing to say we are doing something. We do it because it's come natural. I really love about your foundation, Senora, and I realize that you give yourself selflessly to the country. And, you know, it falls so much in line with what we do here at the hospital. And we just want to say thank you, you know, for highlighting what we've been doing over the, over the, the past couple of months in this horrible pandemic. Um, we'd like to thank you for coming here today and recognizing us. It means a lot. Tears came to my eyes as I sat there because, you know, you think about all the things you've been through and then you think about the fact that somebody has actually remembered you and um you know this this is selfless this is selfless we couldn't have expected this and we just want to say a huge thank you thank you to you thank you for um your foundation thank you all so much for being here san Marina foundation seed fit to go around and honor 25 nurses today from different institutes different hospitals today and that's exactly what we are doing we want to let the nurse then feel you know a little bit of comfortness. Mm. What are the hospitals? So we are going to the Chess Hospital, then we are going to KPH, Spanish Town Hospital, and this is the UE. So you know we have some other more that we are going to give out to other hospitals that I don't call them. The San Marino Foundation, what we do, you know, we always try to give a healthy hands. And we show the, to the public that we care. Sometimes we watch the news, we listen to the news, and then we try to reach out. And even we read the newspaper and we see what's happening and we try to reach out. So, you know, that's a way to show that we are caring about our people here in Jamaica. How do you feel about being recognized today? Overwhelmed, honestly, overwhelmed. Can you tell us about your hardest moment since the pandemic started at the hospital? I like said it's a bit emotional. Um, it's my hardest moment and it's back a couple of months ago um, in the COVID unit, the COVID ICU unit, um, where we saw multiple deaths in one day. I must say on behalf of all of us, your wardies, a big thank you. This is indeed a surprise and a welcome surprise. And so I'm sure, speaking on behalf of all of us, we are indeed grateful and thankful for the award. Thank you very much. We've been doing this for, from 2016 until present, and we're going to continue doing and continue to, to give as long as the Lord keeps blessing us. She's one of our followers in um, intensive care as well. So we'll ask um, her name. Her name is um, Renise Fletcher. <laughs> and we'll ask Lamo J to collect for her. You're holding two gifts in your hand. Are yes. you related to the other girl who was with us? Actually, um, we're not sure if we're related, but we treat each other as sisters. So I guess there's that. So when you heard that she was kidnapped, how did you feel? Go make me cry again. <laughs> um, well. I was distraught, um, I was scared out of my mind, um, but we kept focused because we had to find her, right? We had to find her. Yeah, it's been a rough couple of months. So what, what went through your mind when you heard us? First of all, do you guys work together? Uh, do we work together? Yes, we work together. We live together. Okay. We live on the same compound. Okay. So when you heard that she was missing, what first went through your mind? Um, alright. I was in denial. I said this cannot be true, this cannot be real. Can I my Renee's that's missing? What? No, it must be a joke. That's what I said, yes. The time leading up to the time that in which she was found, how was that experience for you? Um, well, it happened quickly. So, I remember um, our fears intensified because at that time we had heard that three of the persons who were, no, sorry, two of the three who were abducted were released and she was not released. So, you know, we want to, what did you do there? Where is she? What's going on? Um, so we were very fearful at that time as to, you know, her whereabouts and what would have happened or what could have happened. Um, and then shortly after, her father, who spoke to her father, and he was in tears and he was just like, I just spoke to her. She's at the police station. She's okay. So, you know, 
it was it was a roller coaster of emotions I'd say. Yeah. What was it like at work though? Um, you guys no, that period? At work, well, thankfully I was off, so I was out looking for her. Um, a few persons, a few persons got off from work um, in order to help with the search. Um, others who were there, it was plenty. When I passed through for a meeting, it was very plenty. You know, everybody was tense, just wondering, okay, what's happening? What's going on? You know, where is she? Um, the work continued. They still focused and continued to work, but it was very difficult for them, I'd imagine. How has she been recovering, though? What signs have she shown you? Positive signs or negative signs of recovery? Oh, well, she has had good days and bad days, she has said. Um, she has strong support, a, short, a strong support system, I'd say, as well. So, um, I don't know, her days vary, really and truly, but she's been supported. So how do you guys support her? How do we support her? Mm -hmm. Talk to her every day, man, talk to her every day, and in a nice or open something. Um, as well as we give her space, because you know, you need to breathe and think. Um, so now that you guys have gotten gifts for pain, what are you looking forward to? Are you looking forward to going both together or not? Uh, yes, yes, we we'll, we'll try and, and go together. Um, our schedules vary a little bit, mm -hmm. so depending on how we're able to, we'll try and go together. I just want to say, words can never express the way we feel about you. And, you know, it's just a token of appreciation coming from our heart and, you know, the person that supports us. And, you know, to know that we have reached out to only five of you, it's never enough. Because there must be a chaos behind the other five. You understand? And we also want to say to those people that we thank them just as much. Samira Foundation, we are quite pleased that you have taken the effort to recognize and acknowledge the work and the worth of nurses of the University Hospital of the West Indies. We have had a hard working team. Kudos to them all. We are glad you are on board with us and we look forward to continue to serve. Thank you.